I built a solution eight months ago to a very common layout problem, but never released it because at the time there was no way to handle it natively in Webflow. After seeing the solution start to pop up everywhere, I decided to revisit it, and now there's finally a native way to do this. Normally with auto-fit grids, if we want a two-column grid, we just keep increasing our minimum column size so it can only fit two columns in this layout. There's a couple problems with this though, and the first is it forces us to make our minimum column size larger than we want it to be, so items wrap sooner. And second, if we decrease the section padding or the gap between elements, we'll notice all of a sudden now we're fitting in three cards and we had to readjust our minimum column size. Now to solve this, we can set a max column count. I'll say never have more than three columns. Normally, if we were to decrease this parent's gap, or if we were to decrease the minimum column size, that would allow us to fit in more columns. But no matter what we're doing here, no matter how much space is available, we never have more than these three columns. Now, if we were to manually change out our gap here, we'll run into an issue where our max column count is now two, no matter how much space we have available. Even if this was inside the entire section, it's still uh, never more than two columns. And that's because this max column count needs to take into account the size of our gap to know how much space is available. So instead of changing the gap out manually here, we would change it from this gap mode. That allows us to switch the variable that's being used both inside this gap and inside our formula here for defining that max size. Now here I can set the gap to nothing or a small value and the row gap can still be set freely. That doesn't have to be connected to a mode because that doesn't affect the column size at all. It's just the column gap that needs to be switched out from this mode if we want to keep everything synced up. Now here we have our max column count set to 10. So no matter how large our screen is, it'll never be more than 10 columns. But if we take that grid and move it inside a smaller space, we'll notice even though our max column count is set to 10, it's never actually reaching that 10 columns because there's just not enough space for it to do so. So if we wanted to reach that max column count of 10, we'd also have to reduce our minimum column size so that it can fit all 10 columns inside. Now to get this to work, I set up a variable collection for column count, and this has modes for numbers one all the way through 12. This is useful for other types of grids as well. And then I set up a gap variable collection where our base mode is our default site gutter. And then we have additional sizes zero through eight of our spacing variables. And we could add in other modes for more sizes if needed. Now here I've set all of the gap utilities to use that gap variable like so. And if we check out the variable it's applying, it's just from that gap collection, our main size variable here. And that means these work right out of the box with the auto fit or auto fill classes. So here on this base class, I've set the max column count to three. And if we made the gap larger manually, it would reduce it to two columns. But because these uh, utilities work with our variable, if I set a really large gap here, it's still gonna stay at a max of three columns. So that's how to use AutoFit 2.0 for automatically responsive columns that also have a max column count.